America. What a country. The land of the free, home of the brave, and also the land of opportunity. Especially for a player like me. This is a story of a desperate man. Sam Slater is a man on a mission. Because luckily, there's a sucker born every minute in this country. And I'd be a fool not to take advantage of it. Whose plan is to retire as soon as possible by any means necessary. You see this big luxurious house I'm sitting in right now? I'm going to tell you a little secret. I don't own that. As a matter of fact, I don't know who it belongs to. And then guess what? I'm going to let you in on another secret. I haven't paid a bill in 20 years. There is only one rule that all con artists such as myself must abide by. Never get caught. Special Agent Irene Lopez, AKA The Shark, is one tough mother. She heads the IRS Criminal Investigation Division. Jimmy, the grudge turner, is the ruthless loan shark. Then there's Judy Lane, who is eager for a little payback. I am retired, and I know a con man when I see one. My plan is almost complete. For Sam, hiding from the cops and the crooks in a retirement home is all part of the plan. I can't lose. But it doesn't take long for a savvy retiree to put the pieces together. When I was legally working, you know, a real job, man, I never paid any taxes. It's called a tax break, so I took a break from paying taxes. The IRS is going to find you, Sam Slater. They will never find me. I'm going to find you, Sam Slater. I'm going to give you another tip. Never take money from a loan shark. And when I do, go here, go there. I'm going to break both your legs. Me and my friends, we are waiting for you. I'm not worried about any of you. And I mean both of them. Bang! It's all good. This is the easiest scam ever. And I'm going to find you. And I'll be living a good life on the government's dime. You con the wrong senior citizen. I was born in this, man. Life inside the Belmont Village will never be the same. America. <laughs> what a country. Where's my stick? They made me do it. They will never find me. You may be asking yourself, how did a player like me wind up in this type of lifestyle? Well, it all started when I lost my job. Kind of like Frankie on set it off. I didn't have no other options. You're fired. I knew I should have never hired you. Every contact and reference I called, nobody knew you. In fact, one of them was to bust these big house of babes. And then we got onto this conversation about this girl named Destiny and her breast reduction. Anyway, if I didn't know better, I think you were a con man. Did I mention you're fired? And then my beloved wife, my rock of Gibraltar, she walked out on me. I hate you. You're a sorry excuse for a man. I should have never married you. My dad warned me about men like you. I'm leaving. I hope all your hair and your teeth fall out. Not to mention, my landlord, Mr. Drummond, he showed me a different stroke all right when he kicked me to the curb. Get out. I'm tired of your lies. Three months behind on rent, you never pay on time. And you know what? Take your family members with you too. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. A pack of rats and roaches running around and uh, as big as they are, I should charge them rent too. Lastly, the Irish mob, those guys. To me, they're nothing but a bunch of wild, out of control, beer drinking, St. Patrick's Day thinking, lucky charm eating hooligans. In life, there are two things guaranteed, death and taxes. Well, in Sam Slater's case, he has avoided paying taxes. But is it possible for him to evade capture from the authorities, the mob, or a trigger happy granny? Can he outrun the fury of a woman scorned? Or has luck and time ran out for this modern day beauty? I didn't want to be like this. 
But just like every other animal in the ecosystem, I had to adapt. And that's what I just did.